Hi, I'm Lieutenant Doug DeVries of the Contra Costa County Animal Services Department. Today we're trying to bring awareness to people leaving their dogs and cars on a hot day as it is today. So what we plan on doing is we're going to put Steve in a hot car here and he's going to go over what, what, what happens and what the conditions get for your dog when you leave it behind on that 10 minute run to the store. Steve, what are we going to be doing today? Oh, apparently we're locking me in this hot car and yeah, like Lieutenant DeVries said, we've been getting a lot of calls about animals left in hot cars. Uh, so we wanted to build some awareness around that and why people shouldn't do it. Also, there was a new state law that was passed last year that allows people to take some direct action if they come across an animal in that situation. However, there's a lot of misinformation about how that law actually works. So we're going to be providing you education. This isn't about an endurance competition or how long that I could stay in the car. This is really, we want to show you the effects that the hot car has just while we get through the basic content we have about why you shouldn't leave animals in a hot car and about how the new law works. Don't try this at home. We're in the car now. Uh, we have some tools here. Uh, we have this temperature gauge that has a monitor on the outside of the car. It's already pretty hot. I'm starting to sweat. Uh, we have 97.7 on the outside of the car and 109 on the inside. I don't know if you could see here, but we have, we have the windows cracked here a little. As you can see, I'm, I'm starting to sweat through here. So basically, uh, if you come upon an animal in distress in a hot car, here are the steps you need to take. You need to first call 911. You need to second identify that the, that the vehicle is locked and there is no other way to get the animal out. You need to determine that the only way to get the animal out is through forcible uh, entry and you have already made a reasonable attempt to find the owner. Um, at that point, you can take action to get the animal out of the car, but at that point, you, you should get the animal, keep yourself safe, get the animal into a shaded environment, try and get it some water, and you need to stand there and wait until law enforcement gets there, and you need to stay, um, you should stay until the owner gets there as well to detail to them what, what has happened. Some of the things that I could do as a human, I can turn on the air conditioning at any point. I can open the door. I could even go like this. I could, you know, wipe the sweat on my shirt, do something like that. Um, animals can't do that. And, and, and compounding matters, they're covered in fur and the only way they have to sweat is really through their mouth. We're outside of the car now. Uh, I was in there for about 20 minutes. As you can see, I got a pretty good sweat through going on um, by way of kind of how I'm feeling. I'm feeling a little dizzy sitting down. They got some water in me. Uh, my knees are feeling like I ran the bleachers uh, about 150 times. Uh, so obviously this is having an effect on me um, and I wouldn't have thought that that was the case. Uh, but, um, you know, I, I'm you know, feel a little cloudy right now. So think about how this would be if this was a dog. And again, I could open the door, I could tell them, all right guys, I've had enough, get me out of there. Um, but your dog can't do that. Um, and so I hope this has been educational and I'll, you know, now let Doug tell you a little bit about uh, what to do if you see somebody in this situation, who to get in contact with and how you can reach us. Thanks, Steve. If you do come across this situation, just remember, just as anything, you are required to call your local police or your animal services department so we can be, start responding to help the animal. If you do need to take an action, you need to do the least uh, damage as possible and please make sure that the door is open. Also, make, take reasonable steps to find an owner. And uh, we appreciate your concern in these, in these matters. Thank you and have a good day. Remember, consider adoption as the first option.